Right, this morning, really exciting this morning. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time. Uh, well, actually, I did, I did actually make my own beer many, many years ago when me and Dayton had a clothing company but just before Sanchez happened called Stimulus. And one of the, uh, one of the advertising things was to make our own beer. So I went to a few breweries and stuff and I picked picked a beer, cut a long story short, we put it in a bottle, we labelled it all up. It tasted like shit. <laughs> I'm not joking. We had bottles of it. Remember we used to take it down to Nuki Boardmasters. The only person who would ever drink it was Pancho. <laughs> oh look, it's booze in it. Get it down your neck and stop moaning. But anyway, he was the only one who would drink it, so it didn't go to waste. So we, I, you know, I, I have done my own beer before and I've wanted to do another one. Uh, so I contacted a brew, well, Miles from the shop, Miles, uh, the barber, head barber from SWID. He said he's got this, um, uh, what they call it, craft beer, and it's, it's called Flowerhorn. And he says, it's really nice. So I got some, and it was, it was really nice craft beer. And I really like my craft beer. And I don't really drink lager anymore because I find it quite... It's not a. I like a strong lager, and most lagers are not strong anymore, and they burn, and they blow you out a lot. Uh, and with craft lager, <laughs> you can get some really strong ones. You can literally have one can and blows your head off. Um, and they just taste better. So I contacted uh, the boys at Flower Own Brewery, and I said, "Look, I got this idea. I'd love to do a Sleeping Your Dead uh, lager. Let's just let's just brew one. Let's just see how it goes." If it goes really well, let's carry it on. Uh, and they were up for the idea. So today, I'm going to go and start brewing my own beer with the Flower Horn Brewery guys. Now, these, these guys, it's a very small business. They're really, really nice. Uh, they're independent. They're from Cardiff. I like to support small independent businesses in Cardiff as well. So um, I'm looking forward to working with them. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to see what the beer tastes like on a nice, it definitely, it has to be over 5%. Now Pancho's always taught, taught me <laughs> over the years, you'd never drink anything under five volts. <laughs> so it always has to, and I said to the boys, I said, it has to be over five volts because one, Pancho won't drink it. He is my number two, number one beer sampler. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. Make beer, make sure it's over five volts. Uh, I'm going to film myself doing it in the process. And then, um, fingers crossed, when it's all done, we're going to have a party at the brewery. So you can all come along, taste it, enjoy it. And then we're going to have it in the shop as well. So when you come in the shop to have a haircut on the weekends, you'll have an SWO idea to go with your haircut. So that's the plan for today. Lemmy's coming with us, of course. No drink in the beer, Lemmy. Anyway, without further ado, let's go to the brewery. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, yeah, just turning up at the Flower Home Brewery with the boys. chemistry so they each uh, uh, different types of water and different get a good mix up now for it looks like something else <laughs> lactic acid yeah food really lactic acid. holy shit you don't want to drink that <laughs> that's why it's going on with water so i've just chucked the lactic acid in the hot liquor tank now just before we start uh, brewing just to uh, change the water profile and get the water profile we need for the beer we're making so you can change it according to what style of beer you're making same thing Joe was just putting in the uh, bags of malt there, the water changes the profile as well. And what kind of beer are we doing? We're doing a pale ale today, uh, 5%, and you're gonna have Idaho 7, Amarillo, and Citra hops in there. 
2,000 cans of beer. We're gonna get to drink the most exclusive cocktail in the world today, hot scotchy. Once you've taken all the uh, sugar out of the grain and you've got the sweet, really, really su super sweet liquid, you pour a shot of scotch into it, single malt scotch. And it's about, it's probably 60, 70 degrees when it comes out. So it's like a warm, hot whiskey drink that you don't get to drink unless you're a brewer. Oh, no, what's it taste like? It's nice, you have like a Horlicks so or like anything like that. Yeah. Similar to that, it's malt based, so similar to that, but with a bit of booze in it. Well, have you drink enough yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's whiskey you put in. Hey, I'm driving, man. <laughs> This is no colour pale malt, this is the first is base malt that's going in, that's what most of your beers made out of. <laughs> You got the wheat going in now. Trying to get the wheat out and the barley all wet and moist and mixed in. So there's no dry bits at all in it. Go. Look at that. It's just, it's just a massive barrel full of, it just looks like a massive barrel of porridge that smells of beer or like that hoppy, beery kind of stuff. And in a few weeks, it's, it's gonna be enough to knock your head off. What if you drink enough? Right, so now that's all in there, boys. Yeah. What's, what's the next step? Uh, mash has started. We'll give it a quick research now. That's, that's what they call the mash. That's the mash, yeah. It's the mash. <laughs> we'll do the monster mash. The monster mash. So how long is that mon mon the monster mash? How long is how that mash in there for? That'll go on for about an hour then, and then we'll start taking stuff off it. But that process will go on for better than an hour after that. So it'll take two hours to hold. It's just waiting game yeah, for now, yeah, and then, yeah. then we'll transfer it all over and then you've got to wait that an hour and a half for it to heat up to boil it as well. So there's a lot of waiting around in the middle. Sugar's in the beer, and then you, after fermentation, it'll tell you how much sugar's in the beer, and you get the two numbers and you use a formula and it tells you how, what the ABV of your beer is at the end. And what the ABV is going to be? Five. Yeah! <laughs> yep. So about to start sending it over, mash is finished, just about to do the sparge, and you send all that wort over into the kettle, ready to boil it. That's wort then. So that's the wood that's come out of there and it's getting transferred 
into this room by you and it's going to be boiled for an hour and then add hops to it yeah add hops to it add cool it down as fast it. as you can cool it down as fast as you can and send it over to the other tank and send it over to the next tank which is by then mm -hmm. so it's just heated up there it's about 70 71 degrees at the moment Oh, it's all in there now, boy -o. Ooh. In there is an SWID beer, yeah, which nice. should be ready within two weeks oh, with your it. care and attention that's to it. Yeah, yeah. And Joe's. And Joe's. <laughs> so, so I'm going, I got you two. I got you two to look after this beer now for two weeks. Yeah, and then yeah. I'll come back in two weeks. We'll give it a taste. Okay, so and then we'll have a party. We'll get everyone to drink it, celebrate and that's enjoy it. it. Yeah. Can it up. Can't Actually, wait. we'll come and... I'll come and can it up with you. Yeah, do it. Because I hear the canning process can be taking quite a while. Yeah, yeah. I think you'll live for 10 hours. 10 hours of canning. <laughs> yeah, you might have to have you back today. By the time I leave, I'll be hanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't drive, I'll get a taxi. Yeah, nice, good show. You know, I'll deal with it. All right, cool. So what I'll do now then, I'll leave you guys to look after it until it goes into the thing. That's it. And then we'll come back in two weeks and uh, see how I go. Yeah, nice. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Right, the worst part of the job, <laughs> once all the mash is being used, then you've got to get rid of it, but it doesn't go to waste, does it? No, we send it off to the local farm, the farmer comes and collects it and uh, gets used for cattle and uh, sheep feed and stuff like that. So that's all that stuff that we put in there earlier, put all the water onto it got all the goodness and everything out of it to make our beer. Bye right, boys, see you later mate. Yeah, see you later. See you later. Yeah. See you later boys, see you in a few weeks. Toodle pip. What a super interesting day that was, uh, filming and making the, um, the SWID, uh, SWID beer, which will be coming out shortly. Thanks to the boys at Flower Home Brewery, uh, for showing us how to make beer it really <laughs> it really is quite interesting and that um that skull stuff or whatever it was the brown sweet liquid with the shot whiskey in it oh <laughs> that stuff is so so good if you can get to try it try it uh um yep it's going to be five uh percent uh for all as i oh, as panji said five volts He's always said, never drink anything under 5 volts. And that's why I've kept it at 5%. And it's pretty much a nice little uh, strength for everyone to enjoy. Uh, it's We're going to be having a party. We're going to be having a launch party. And I will let you... It's going to be in about two or three weeks' time. But I will let you know the date very soon. Uh, hope you enjoyed all the content. Uh, the weekend's coming up. I am off to London tomorrow to go and hang out with my friend Sonny. Uh, we're going to go and see Example uh, for his last night of his tour, actually. So I'm looking forward to that. And then on the Sunday, we'll be chilling out on the Sunday. And on the Monday, I think I'm going to be driving Sonny's uh, G-Wagon, the 6x6 G-Wagon, back home to Cardiff, if he trusts me. Uh, anyway, let's wait and see. I'll film it all and I'll vlog it next week. So have a good weekend, everybody. Sleeping the, sleep the Dead beer coming very, very soon. It's going to be banging. I can't wait. And we there, it will be sold in specialists, uh, specialist bars that we, chose, that we choose in Cardiff. Uh, but as soon as I know, and I, I'll let you all know. Uh, anyway, for the time being, toodle pip, ciao for now, au revoir, bonjour, <laughs> bon voyage.